wide. That's a big river. There's a lake in Scotland called Loch Ness. Has anybody ever heard of Loch Ness? Loch Ness is a huge lake, 24 miles long, a mile to a mile and a half wide, up to 900 feet deep. Loch Ness is big enough that everybody on planet Earth could go drowned in it at the same time. It would hold the entire population of the world. Six billion people would fit in that lake. It's huge. In 1933, a roadbed was cut into the side of the mountain. Because before 1933, if you wanted to see the lake, you got to climb over the mountains or go up river seven miles in your boat. So not many people went there. Very sparsely populated. 1933, the first year the road was put in, there were 52 separate sightings of the Loch Ness Monster. Hmm. This author said there have been 9,000 reported sightings today. Now, that was back in the 1960s when this book was written. Today, it's over 11,000 reported sightings of the Loch Ness Monster. 11,000. Of course, some are fakes and frauds, okay? I wouldn't trust the, you know, uh, weekly world news, you know, <laughs> where they got all this weird stuff in there. But Sir Peter Scott's a member of Parliament. He said he saw it. He believes it's a plesiosaur. Almost everybody that sees it says it's this animal right here, a plesiosaurus. Long neck, four big flippers. One guy wrote a book and he said, some people think Nessie is a plesiosaur. There's one thing wrong with this theory. Plesiosaurs are believed to have become extinct 70 million years ago. Oh, is that what's wrong with the theory? <laughs> I think this evolution theory has got to be the biggest hindrance to scientific research there's ever been. Okay? You look at the facts, forget your theories, look at the facts and come up with your conclusions. Okay? Arthur Grant nearly ran into Nessie on his motorcycle one night. He said, I had a splendid view of the object. In fact, I almost struck it with my motorcycle. It had a long neck, oval, uh, large oval-shaped eyes on top of a small head. The tail would be five to six feet long. He describes it, 15 to 20 feet long altogether. He said, knowing something of natural history, he was a veterinarian student, okay? He said, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Here's the sketch he drew of what he nearly ran over on his motorcycle. A 20-foot long plesiosaur. Alexander Campbell was the game warden for Loch Ness for 47 years. He said he saw it 18 times. There's the sketch he drew of it. Many people have tried to catch the Loch Ness monster. They've used everything you can imagine for bait and some things you could not imagine. So, so far, nobody's caught it. I mean, the lake is huge. But there have been many, many sketches drawn. <clears throat> One family said they saw it with a sheep in its mouth. <clears throat> One guy got a picture of the hump sticking out of the water. The neck is over on the far right. Then Reader's Digest, of course, they crop everything down. They cut the neck off when they publish their picture, the crop picture. But Mark McLeod said he watched it for nine minutes through binoculars and made four sketches of it, of what he saw. McLeod said, I think the monster looks like this. <clears throat> All you got to do is, you know, watch TV programs once in a while where they talk about the Loch Ness Monster. There are thousands of people who will go on record and say, I have seen it. World Book Encyclopedia paid to have a submarine taken over there from South Carolina the mini-sub, the guy went down in the water and said, that water is so black, I can't even see the front of my own boat. Loch Ness is like a giant mud puddle. You go down in there just a few feet, visibility is zero. You can't see a thing. Japanese put 24 boats, went all the way down the lake and reported, they scanned the bottom with radar, sonar, and said, man, this is a deep lake, and it's wrinkled up like a raisin. And there are caves going off to the side. Probably with air chambers, the creature can come up under and, you know, go under the, inside the mountain and breathe and live in there. One guy got a picture of diamond-shaped flipper underwater. Again, they thought it was a plesiosaur. Reader's Digest published this picture, and back in 78, pictures right there on the floor, about Nessie with, Nessie with its mouth open. <clears throat> we can go all day about Loch Ness Monster, but they said this photograph was a fake, and it probably was, but I don't know. It's interesting, they waited till the last guy involved died to announce it's a fake. Now, how do you check out the truth? But anyway, there are other lakes besides Loch Ness. There's Loch Lochie, Loch Morar. There are many other lakes reporting creatures. There's one called the Morguar, the Cornish Sea Serpent by England. The English Channel has many reported sightings of a creature like this. In 1749, <coughs> in England, a creature was caught resembling in some degree an alligator, but having two large fins. The body was covered with impenetrable scales. It had five rows of teeth. 1934, this thing washed up on the beach in Normandy, France. There's a guy uh, standing there looking at it for scale. Uh, a couple of scientists reported this creature swam past their boat in Brazil in 1905. They reported the whole thing in a scientific journal. The creature had a long neck, <coughs> six feet long, <coughs> two feet high, 
Um, the dorsal fin, I'm sorry, was six feet long, two feet high, a small head on a neck about seven or eight feet long. Two experienced British naturalists reported the thing. And again, we can go all day on reported sightings. This thing, in 1977, a Japanese fishing boat pulled this up in their net. It was 32 feet long, 4,000 pounds. They said, what on earth is that? The captain said, I don't know, but it stinks. <laughs> when they set it down on the deck, it broke in half, and pus oozed out everywhere. So they made a bunch of sketches, took a bunch of pictures, and shoved it overboard. A special stamp was made for Japanese mail in 1977. Now, some people argue that it might have been a basking shark, and I agree, it might have been a basking shark. But the fishermen on board said, we know what basking sharks are, we don't think it is, okay? Basking sharks, they tend to rot away, leaving the head part behind. There's a basking shark right there, okay? It could have been a basking, it doesn't matter to me. They said the protein is 96% similar. Yes, I know, but nobody's ever seen plesiosaur protein, okay, to know what it's supposed to look like. Humans and apes are similar, but have many differences also. Anyway, there's a lot of arguments about that. It doesn't matter to me, but some people get all bent out of shape because they even mention, you know, the Japanese catch of 1977. Russians report a creature in the lake up there. They're called Mystery of the Lake here. A what looked like a dinosaur washed up on the beach in Russia in 1994. It was 39 feet long. This thing apparently <clears throat> is a doctored photo of a shark. Somebody with Photoshop, you know, made it look like a, a plesiosaur, but actually it's a doctored photo. But... Uh, so be careful. There's plenty of frauds out there, no question. But the existence of a fraud or counterfeit does not disprove the existence of the original. Right? In, in 2004, a bunch of people over in Papua New Guinea reported a creature like a dinosaur, 10 feet tall, with a head like an alligator, a tail like an alligator, a head like a dog, right there on the island in the city of Kokopo. One lady said she saw it. She ran for her life seeing a three-meter tall creature with a head like a dog and a tail like a crocodile. You can read all about it on the internet about this creature seen just in 2004. Japan reports some of these creatures. The North, Lake, North Island, Haikoto, reports them, and the South Island down here of Japan. They call it Ishi in Lake Ikeda. In China, there's reported one called uh, USO, Unidentified Swimming Object. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Norway has several reported sightings, as do Swedish lakes, a couple of Swedish lakes up there. They call it, anybody speak Swedish, know how to say that? Stores, Jordan. Close enough, yeah, okay. You don't speak Swedish, do you? You're lying, okay. Uh, in Norway, they've got a creature. They, they say it's very similar to the Loch Ness Monster. Hundreds of folks claim they've seen it. It's in the news occasionally, kind of like Loch Ness, okay? Canada has reported sightings of these creatures. Canadian lake monsters. Nessie's Canadian cousin. There's a lake in the town of Kelowna uh, called the Lake Okanagan. It's a huge lake. It's 80 miles long. I've been up there twice to speak in the town of Kelowna. The, na the natives call this creature the Ogopogo. We sell a book uh, on our table back there if you want to get that. The Ogopogo, very similar to Loch Ness Monster. Thousands of folks claim they've seen that one. This article says they were the latest among thousands to see something strange in this narrow 80-mile-long lake. One guy swam the length of the lake and said the thing came up under him, scared him half to death. I got news articles like crazy about this. And she said, I saw Ogopogo twice, this woman says. I interviewed uh, John Caruso. He and his family were sleeping in their boat on the lake. They're camping out on the lake in their big boat. And uh, something bumped the bottom of their boat and woke them all up in the middle of the uh, early, early in the morning. They went out and saw two Ogopogo swimming across the lake. He went back, grabbed his camera. By the time he got it, it was, you know, pretty far away. But he gave me the, uh, a copy of the video footage of what he saw at about, you know, quite too far away to make out the details. But he said, look, Brother Hovind, I saw the Ogopogo. Many, many folks will go on record and saying, I have seen it. There's one in Cadborough or Cadborough Bay, British Columbia. There's a book about that if you want to read more. A baby caddy was found inside the stomach of a sperm whale. They say it has a, long, a short pointed front flippers and a long necked, uh, uh, long necked beast with a horse like head. One guy caught a baby one with his dip net, drew a sketch of it before he released it. He didn't know what it was, so he let it go. I interviewed this guy for an hour. These four guys were fishing in Canada when a creature chased their boat off Cape Sable Island, Nova Scotia, when I was preaching up there. Uh, it happened in 1992 uh, when I met him. He said uh, he was 67 when this happened. He'd been fishing out there since he was five. He said this 40 to 50 foot long creature chased their boat for one to two miles. He said the neck was two feet thick and eight to nine feet long. It had nine inch diameter eyes. He said they were six miles south of Cape Sable Island. He said, I don't want to see it again. That's what he told me. This thing washed up on the beach in Newfoundland. Sometimes big blobs.